Well guys, um, welcome back and uh, thanks for still being here, if you're still here, if you're new. It's been a long time since I put out a video, glad you're here too. Um, yeah, it looks like um, I'm right at 15k subscribers, that's insane, thank you. Um, I don't have a good reason, well I haven't put a video up in 50 days now. Uh, I've been really busy, I haven't stopped working or anything. I've done a little bit of family stuff at people visiting and stuff, but nothing... I've just been grinding, and then it just became bigger and bigger that I hadn't made a video, and I got stressed, and I didn't make a video. So, Anyway, here's a video. I'm hoping to be back into it. I was still recording a lot of stuff, so I probably have 7 to 10 videos worth of content that I'll start editing now and getting out there. And um, I thought this was a good video to come back on. There are a couple of videos before this one. I mentioned trip to Moab and some other stuff. Um, those will just come after this, so, yeah. But anyway, uh, let's get to the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Denver Beer and Oil. Um, we are now back from Moab. That was a hell of a trip, a whole lot of fun. Definitely wanna do more of it. And uh, some upgrades planned for the Pathfinder to make it even more capable this time. Well, it's a couple days later, I've been Laying low, answering tons of messages. It's amazing when I disappear for four days, how many messages I actually get now. I just didn't realize I pretty much just live on my phone talking to people. But buddy George came um, and bought a bunch of interior stuff out of uh, the M Roadster out there. He's got a, a Z3 coupe, not an M coupe, but doing that. But an opportunity has arisen and uh, looks like I'm, uh, I'm heading back to Utah tonight so uh um, i'm gonna go see zach here in a little bit and um yeah more to come or i'm sure the thumbnail gave it away but it's gonna be a quick trip so it's a little bit later um i'm over at zach's he's actually gonna take me to the airport um but anyway if you remember that last video we showed zach stuff he got the 335 <laughs> is going so you want to talk about yeah. the 335 i already talked about it no we just i just showed it that one at the end uh, of the other video i was just like and he bought this and then that was it <laughs> that's pretty funny um yeah some guy called my shop can we pause i don't know if that's gonna fuck it it's like louder than i thought it was it was good and then we were like not talking the whole time the interior is what makes All it the right. coolest Lost my voice in Moab, so I'm scratchy. Deal with it, or I smoke a lot of cigarettes. You sound better now. Yeah, I do, I can actually talk. Um, guy called my shop, needs to move. Half, car is half a party. You keep coming closer, I'm trying to get the car and you. There you go. He tried to fix the oil leak, which the oil leak was actually wrong. Just the valve cover yet, not the little filter hosing. <laughs> he rounded off some bolts, never actually got it done. It sat for like six months, so I'm claiming this as the world's first barn find, 335 IS. Like it was covered in dust. Um, I'm gonna take that title. What makes the 335 IS? Um, so I didn't do much research. I don't know that. I know that's a thing. Um, the guy said it was a stopgap for when they didn't have an M3 to sell, which I could totally believe. So it's a U.S. market thing. I think he said there was like 7,000 made. Um, hard tops and convertibles, only two doors, no E90s. Um, it was sold on the end of the production for E9X stuff. And they were selling M55s in these, but then they came out with these M54, these are all M54 cars. Um, it's the same M54 stuff as like the Z4, S-Drive, and the 1M. Same idea, same So it makes power. like another 20, 40 horsepower? Yeah, same thing there. Um, big thing, it's got a twin clutch which is cool, because no other M54 cars do. Um, still no LSD, which is pretty lame, but it's it's like a sport package. It's like an M3 replacement while they didn't have one to sell. It's got special wheels. You get cool, like, um, super forts, like they look belly like almost. the cluster's look. special. It's got oh, special it's got, trim. Yeah, it's got, got a 335 IS cluster. It's got the gray cluster, yeah. yeah look at the, the badge over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like the it's and, um, cubicle almost looking. Yeah, Twin clutch, and then it doesn't have fog lights factory. Oh, it's like a E60 M5. Yeah, bumper. The bumpers and our and then the rear actually has a diffuser. Which yeah, is the rear cool. bumper is the coolest part, I yeah. think. And it sounds really good, actually. I don't like M54 sounds; they're always too annoying. But this one's nice and. You see a lot of people with these bumpers on their yeah, 335s because everybody buys them, but they're from these cars. Yeah. So that, and then um, the 
The uh, the fan is a special two stage fan with a different relay. Is that what that thing is? That's a special, actually. <laughs> They're just like, here's the shitty yeah. bracket. But like, I've been driving this now because I sold my daily driver, which is what you do. You sell your smart, reliable car. Um, the smart, reliable car was an E90, though, so it wasn't like that smart. It was a non-turbo E90. It was non-turbo. Um, and so now I've been driving this, and I'm re I really like it. Like, this is a really good car. If you wanted just like one car to own, and you want to go fast, look good, and like comfortable, it's a really good car for all of that. Like. The first time I got it back together, after the guy had it all apart, I had to drive to my parents to pick up Alice, and like, some guy in a stinger rolls up next to me, and we, he just takes off, so I'm like, oh, I, <laughs> have, to, I have to go. <laughs> Gotta be an And then the next thing you know, there's four other dudes, <laughs> we're all going down I-25 at a moderate speed. Top of the speed limit. Top of the speed limit, <laughs> and um, it, I was beating all of them. And there's a stock BMW, there's like an Alfa Romeo, there's a Challenger, there's a Mustang with stripes. Striping so, Mustang. I don't know. I would pull away from all of them. So it's it's a pretty Very cool car. Um, it might be underrated, honestly. At three thirty five horsepower. I think that's what it's rated. I at. think they kept all these things down for M threes. Like I think that was the big that. thing. Is like they wanted to sell M threes. Like it feels like more than three thirty. It feels like it's got like three seventy or something. To me. Um, but, so. Um, I really like it. I want to take it to the track before I sell it. Um, what, what these just have the same brakes though? Just the three hundred forty-eight mil. The same brakes. Yeah. Brakes Even the M 3s got the same brakes. Um, they just got a, like an offset rotor. I'm sure there's some other things, but I don't remember. Yeah, it's got a real cool interior. It's a really good combination: sapphire black, metallic, and the and saddle brown. Natural, natural brown, natural brown. I don't know what they call it. It's brown, e six color, natural yeah. brown. I thought it was saddle in this, but it could I be wrong. Anyway, do you guys want to know what Zach paid for it? It was oh, not very much. Some people off. Uh, it was. Car has 94,000 miles on it. Yeah. Clean title. Um, no accidents, no history of any kind. And uh, it's uh, it was $11,000. Yeah, that's a steal. Because he called me and said that. And I haven't even, I've never worked on this. He just called my shop and was like, you want to buy it? I need to move next week. And he had a loan on it. It was half a part. So he wasn't like a shit situation, which is when the deals show up. Um, he was leaving the state and so I actually took a big risk because I bought it without hearing it run um, And then I had to mail a check to an Oklahoma credit union, which was a whole mess um, But it all worked out the guy was trustful. I didn't get fucked on anything. So I took a high risk for a high reward um, I think it's super cool. Yeah, I looked these I was like 11 grand's a lot and then I looked them up and I'm like wow people pay a lot for these So this honestly this car will never go down. I think I think it's always gonna hold its value. It's a special car um, and that's how BMW is, it's Porsche too. It's like, if there's a special, small, it's worth build a little production more. model, yeah, people pay a lot for it. So. And, and, and so I, I think this car is worth somewhere between 18 and 20,000. They lost me though, with no LSD. What the fuck, this that, new BMW shit. They're like, that's just BMW, It's man. stupid though, like this is a S, yeah. special car. Um, and then for- <laughs> It's got a power rear sunshade yeah, too. it works. I'm not touching it though. Don't I use the one it. in my E90 all the time. I wanna sell it with it working. Uh, I think too, Zach's not keeping this car. This was solely a way to make yeah, some money. He's going to enjoy it for a little it's bit. It's definitely this... taking my heart. Like, I really love it. <laughs> but he needs to let it go. Yeah. I have too many things. So I can buy something else. He said he was going to, when he sells, he's going to take Roger and I to yeah. a really nice steak they dinner. Ask, we're going to, yeah. <laughs> that's what's going to, it's going to happen. So. Um, there is also, there's a 135 IS, which is even more rare. But I don't know why you'd buy that. You could just buy a 1M. Yeah. No LSD too in that as well. Right. So, it's a cool car. Most I see are convertibles too, actually. I don't see many hard. Every time I look at them for sale, they're mostly convertibles. They probably don't sell very often. No. They, oh, well, there's a slight ding right there. Yeah, it's got a dent right here. It's oh, yeah, there's a dent there. But like, like I said, if you wanted one car, and like, this is a great car to own. Cool. And you get Super comfortable. Like and the shadow line that's like glossy. and It's all quiet. Look at the stock. So, Nobody's yeah, fucked with it. It goes really fast. It rides great, even on these low pro run flats. Um, I'm going to the airport tonight to buy the car we were talking about a little while ago, which I haven't shared with you yet, but I'm sure is in the thumbnail. Um, so It'll Zach's, Zach's going to drive me there in this. So we'll cut to that, getting some uh, POV videos. <laughs> but it's at, it's at night, though. So I don't know. it'll be yeah. somewhat entertaining. Anyway, see that. Uh, just a quick update because it looks crappy. That was a. Uh, after Zach fixed up, he just wanted to drive it. So 
Now it's all put together. It's dusty, but now it's all there. All the yeah. under panels are on, everything. So Stock airbox. You've seen an M54 with a stock airbox? It just doesn't exist. You know it's a good car. You know it's a good car one. And all the trim is up there. Yeah, you know it's a good M54 car one. So he did find out his headlights kind of not mounted that great. But yeah. besides that, it was good. But yeah, that was it. Now let's go drive. All right, guys, it's dark. You probably can't see me. Maybe you can slightly see it's Zach. Um, he was doing some pulls on the highway. It was feeling great. We were just talking, and I was like, cool, I'll get the phone out. And then um, we have, oh, it went away. Oh, it's back. <laughs> we have that, and it feels we're like we have no boost. Yeah. So I don't know if that means wastegates are open. So Luckily, I work on a lot of these, so I'm not going to Zach will get her dialed, but we'll bring it back in a video another time. It'll be during the day, so you can actually see things. <coughs> and he says he wants to take it to the track, so let's we'll see it. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know. I have an E92 with a single turbo that I would like race. That I would love to finish someday. Um, so maybe yeah, we'll be comparison. we'll be more N5X yeah. content for a little bit. But anyway, I'm headed to the airport. I'll probably talk to you guys there and share some more hints about what I'm getting even though you already saw it in the picture. So, bye. All right, guys, forgot to film um, in the airport at all. I'm a little tired, to be honest with you. But um, on the flight now, and uh, I think we land at like 12, 10 or 12, 15 at night. So, more adventure to buy a random car. All right, I landed. It's, um, I don't know, about 12.30 a.m. Uh, about to jump in an Uber and uh, take an hour and a half drive. So, probably won't film in that, but see you in a bit. Well, I'm outside of a Wells Fargo. This is where the guy wanted to meet. Um, said something about wanting to put all the money in the, uh, in the ATM. Um, interesting technique, if that was him. But either way, um, yeah, so I'm just waiting on him. Lighting's pretty bad though. So I don't know if we're, uh, if we're getting any good shots of what we got at this point, but I'll figure something out. I assume I got to get gas, so I'll go find a well-lit gas station. Probably not going to record in front of the guy because it's just kind of weird. All right, guys, behind me is the car. There it is. 2002 E46 M3 in Laguna Seca Blue. And... It's factory six-speed manual. Um, I've never seen one cheaper than this. I'll just go out and say it right now. This car was $10,000, didn't even negotiate. That's what he was asking. Uh, I think the main reason to that is uh, this corner right here. Um, this has been an accident of some sort, fixing things, maybe not the best, um, but it looks good. I think if, uh, just throw a, a fender on it and a hood on it, bumper, and paint a little bit of stuff. This thing could be amazing. It looks like, like maybe this whole side was painted, but I, I already popped the hood, I checked the frame rail, everything's minty there. Um, let's see, a quick gas pump. Hold on, I'll be right back. So, um, what else we got? We got a CSL trunk. We got a CSL rear valence. We got, I'm pretty sure, ZCP wheels. Actually looking at them, they might be reps or off of something later because they don't say the spec on them. But what we got for tire size, that might tell us a little bit. So 275s in the rear, so this is probably a nine and a half. And in the front, we got a 235. I don't know, it might have a slight bit of stretch. This might be an eight and a half up front. So, I don't know, this thing's super cool. The interior is fairly nice. The driver's seat has a little bit of wear. Nice Alcantara boot. One of the Android Ed units. But uh, here's the kicker. That's a shit ton of miles. Um, but it's running. Feels great. Only thing so far is it needs a rear diff pushing. A little clunky. Um, 
the guy said it had a uh, low compression on the cylinder, but there's no check engine light. It pulls great. So I don't know about that. Oh. I don't know how to open the trunk. See, I sell trunks. Uh, yeah. I, I'm speechless for this. Sorry if it's not my usual excited tone. It's like 2.30 in the morning. But maybe you need the key to open the trunk. I don't know. But, yeah. So, I got, I don't know. I'll type it in real quick. Oh, there. We can look under the hood but all clean, like really clean. All stock, no messed up air box, but you know, all cleaned up. Over here you can see a little bit of weird stuff. We can just see that there's quite a bit of Bondo on that fender. So we just didn't want to buy a fender. Um, and then the hood is, is kind of like kinked right there. And it doesn't look like it was originally blue or maybe it was originally blue, yeah. Maybe it was, and somebody just tried to like do some stuff to fix it however they could. Either way. Oh, looks like an aftermarket headlight, but not a horrible one. And yeah, matches good enough. Yellow fogs. Oh, it's also on uh, ground controls. Doesn't have race plates, but it does have adjustable top hats. Oh, if you guys know about these, since it has ABS module over here, you can enable M track mode in it with uh, some coding. Damn, this thing's sick, but that's the big deal right there. You guys look, these things have been going for like 30 to 60 grand on bringing a trailer for a while now. I'm like, huh. Ten thousand dollars. That's just insane. Um, I do want to touch on that real quick. <laughs> Zach and I get complaints all the time from people saying, um, "Like, you guys buy all the cool stuff, so we can't buy it. This just sucks. You guys buy everything." Well, you guys have the same opportunity we do. <laughs> um, this car was in Logan, Utah, like not close to us. And as soon as we got a response from the guy. It was pretty much like, yo, I can come tonight. I'll buy a plane ticket and I'll be there. Like, I'm in the middle of the night and I'll do it. He's like, well, because he said he had somebody coming at noon tomorrow. I was like, well, I'll come first. So, that's all you got to do. Just commit. Go do it. Buy cool cars for cheap. Anyway, I'm uh, going to this Maverick. Get some uh, food and get on my journey. All right. We got some grub. We got a Gatorade. And, uh. Looks like I got 9 hours, 41 minutes, 529 miles to go. So, uh, let's hit the road. We got a full tank of fuel. Oh, it, it's a car without BC. So, uh, or OBC or whatever. So we don't have a average MPGs or any of that stuff. Um, I wonder if that's, if this does that kind of stuff. We'll see. I don't think it does. But, anyway, we're going to hit the road. Welcome back everybody, um, it's about 6.30 and uh, only driven about 85 miles. I, um, the headlights suck in this car, they uh, don't have brights and the low beams are kind of low so it's hard to see off in the distance at night and I'm on a lot of two lane roads right now, I haven't made it to the interstate so mm. Excuse me, this woke up. Mm. But uh, I was also getting a little tired, so made exact position. Didn't want to wreck the new car, and uh, pulled over and uh, took took a sleep for a good three hours or whatever it was. I feel like it was that. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, time to get back at it. Um, Google's kind of weird. It always does this. To, it's been doing this a lot to me lately where it'll be like a road closure for a, like an overpass or something. Like you just drive around it on the, uh, like an exit. And it just tries to avoid it altogether and have you get off the highway and go somewhere else. So 
So Google right now is trying to not have me go to the interstate, drive me a bunch of two-lane roads through most of Wyoming. So I'm gonna have to go a different way than Google says <laughs> to uh, so I can save some time and take the correct way. So. <sighs> again, excuse me again for yawning. I'm just waking up. But there was a really nice mountain pass that I just uh, went through first thing. This car is amazing. The ground controls feel amazing. It's so planted. I don't know what tires are on it, but this car is just, it rides good. It handles amazing. This is a really good car for, uh, for the money. I can't believe it. Like, it's a really good car. Anyway. Well, hit the road. Sun's starting to come up. Hi right, guys, we're nearing the end of our trip. Um, we're in my old stomping grounds. We're uh, in Laramie, Wyoming. I went to college here. About two hours left, a little over 100 miles, and uh, car's fucking killing it, to be honest with you. Um, but let's get some fuel. Oh, I'm really impressed with this car so far. Mileage wise, this is the actual first fuel stop. We've done almost 400 miles on the tank. So I haven't been beating on it though. But yeah. Oh, we got music. Hold on, I walked away. Um, but I will say, if you're uh, if you're coming through Laramie by any chance, I going across the country on I-80, make a stop at a uh, at Gateway. This uh, my buddy Raj owns this place, and uh, they have an awesome liquor store. It's a super clean gas station. It's a Shell. They got great fuel. So I'm filling up here, but. Come back see how much fuel it took. Well, it took just over 13 gallons, so 377 miles. That's almost 29 miles of the gallon. That's insane. I don't even know if that's right, maybe. Maybe it didn't fall all the way up. Such a beautiful car. All right, guys, just got back into Colorado. Got, I don't know, a little under 100 miles left. And uh, yeah, car's doing great. AC is kicking. Uh, it's a great car. So. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna point out something. I'm not doing the best financially at the moment. And uh, I can't afford to buy a car like this. So this is not my car. Um, this is actually Zach's car. And uh, he paid me to go get it. I would have loved to have bought something like this, but I just don't have an extra spare 10 grand sitting around to buy this and then, you know, most likely flip it. But um, yeah, so it's Zach's car. So. We're delivering it to him right now. Uh, he is beyond stoked. I've been telling everybody about it the whole day. Uh, this is his dream E46 M3, if he was ever gonna have one, and just assumed that, that ship had sailed, because where are you ever gonna find a Laguna Seca M3 for an affordable price anymore? So, um, I'm gonna take this last little hour and a half, enjoy the car, and uh, let's go get Zach's reaction to it. Uh, I'm on this cutoff from uh, it's 287, if you guys are from the Colorado, um, between Laramie and Fort Collins. There's a cutoff that takes you to uh, I-25, so you don't have to go into Fort Collins. It used to be dirt, and I feel like I was on it this year, or like recently, and it was dirt. It is a freshly paved road now, and it's very twisty, and it's very fun. There's not many people on it, and I just have a whole lot of fun. This might be the most planted car I've ever driven. It feels so good and it rides so well. I need these coilovers for my E46. I haven't driven my car yet, so I don't know, maybe the Bilstein PSS 9s or 12s or whatever is on there are good, but I need these ground controls. This is epically amazing. All right, guys, we're pulling into Euro Garage. The door's open. Let's go get his reaction. Wow! Oh my god! Is this real life? It's real, dude. Holy shit! 
Thank you so much. Yeah, dude. Wow, that was the drive. It, it was, was amazing. Crying. Oh my god. Wow, is this mine? It's yours, dude. Whoa. It's like an awesome car. <laughs> dude. Like, there's nothing wrong never with this see car. It in person. It's even better in person. Yeah. This color looks way better in person. Yeah. Holy shit. This is insane. <laughs> This is up there on car buying moments. It's pretty good. It's good? It's it drove really all good. over here. Any Dude, issues? Nothing. Wow. The headlights suck. You don't have brights. I don't even care about anything. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> the whole car is here. Yeah. Wow. AC is great. Like, it's, it? just, it's just nice. Yeah. It's the perfect amount of like... Not That's what I'm, I'm saying. It, look, it looks great from like 10 feet away. So like, since you don't have a place to put shit inside right now, it's perfect. Man. You ever drive? Let's go for a drive, dude. Oh my god. Ah. My voice doesn't work still. I was on screen. <laughs> yeah, Holy dude. shit. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. Little wheels. Don't lock my door. None of that shit works. That don't work. Yeah, it's gonna need some, some Zach love. Oh, it's definitely. Wow. Wow, this is the best day ever. <laughs> regulator work yeah both windows go all the windows oh, work oh man she need more power heated little, seats don't work she's a little loose dips clunky yeah. but but the subframe's falling out uh it drives <laughs> fucking amazing so Does it? i think it's just the dip oh my god this is insane this is the perfect beater fucking laguna seca m3 <laughs> The shifter's pretty sloppy. What the fuck's that? It's on ground controls. Yeah, and they are the best coilovers I have ever felt. Oh, really? Probably They're in like good in, riding in my life. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I touched something on the screen and we missed half that video, so yeah, you guys didn't see like us drive. Talking in a donut scenario. There was donuts. It was good. We even cheers. We che we got back and did did beer cheers, but Zach is beyond stoked. This is the best day ever until there's another car I buy. Like, just look at how clean it all is. Even like the cars with wax and everything. It's like brand mm -hmm. brand new. The guy told me to replace the alternator, so that's like brand new. But like, like the oil filter housing and like the hoses and like everything's just flawless. I mean, it made it all the way back here with no issues. Nothing. It doesn't even have a check engine light. Nothing. It just drove. This is definitely one of the best, cheapest M3s I've ever seen. Oh. That's going to go. Oh, we, we already we're, fixed we're it. We're fixers. We're improvers. Look at this. Oh, big oh. seal it up, guys. Like, look at how clean, like, all the rubber is and stuff. Like, that's, like, new new car looking this shit. This has 250,000 miles. <laughs> This goes to show if someone takes care of a car and sits in a garage. And, and it, I don't think it was last. this kid. I think this kid like kept his car clean, but it didn't really sound like he was like a big maintenance guy or understood stuff. It's proper. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna need to get some glass Euro headlights. Do they make Just those? Now, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like you have like the full shroud. I mean, it's zip tied, not clipped, but that's. We gotta cruise our M3s when yours is done, <laughs> which will be soon. <laughs> Keep, every time I bring it in, or run into something, but the list is like way smaller. It's getting smaller. We're yeah, getting Roger there. and Wall cruise our M3s. We'll cruise. Yeah, mine's not an M3, but it's our close S enough. S our coupes. Our, no, our, our S54 our cars. Our two-door E46s. There we go. <laughs> That'll be a good comparison. We'll get Chris in his wagon. Oh, yeah. All the S54 cars. And Ryan could come in his blue oh, one. We got multiple we blue ones. S54 meetup. And Tony, you could come, you know, just put your E30 yeah, together. Just finish it up. Wow. Is this real? It's like, this is my car? Holy shit. I just can't believe the price. Wow. I can't either. Like, it's funny, like, every, okay, everyone out there, you all had a chance to buy this. We didn't do anything special. It was up for like two days. I, I Utah. I explained all of it. Yeah, just like no. we didn't do anything special here. Don't be mad. Like you had a chance as well as as I did. They just said you just gotta be ready to commit. Yeah. It was just like the guy said sure, and I was like cool, well, booking a flight. It's just scary. The ad was really scary, but I'm dumb enough to buy a 250,000 mile M3 that says it has low compression, needs a dip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Doesn't need a dip. Needs a dip pushing. 
is why you risk it. Um, and honestly, if it's not misfiring and has low compression, it's fine. It's if fine. it's misfiring, then you'd be like, oh, you yeah. yeah. Do you have any records? Nothing. It's clearly been maintained. It made it yeah. this far. I'm thinking, so he bought it in Reno. What I'm thinking happened is somebody who owned this car had it for a really long time and then they got in a wreck. Mm. And then somebody took the car from that wreck and was like, fixed it up and flipped it. Yeah. And then and that. this guy had it for like a year somebody and a half. Somebody really and liked it, I could tell. They put like they put the wheels and the coilovers on. Yeah, and he and this guy bought it just drove it. Like exactly how it is. He didn't even know what ground Did he control. Even the oil? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it didn't sound like he even took care of it. But he uh, he didn't know what ground controls even were. He was like, are those good coilovers? These Japanese guys, they don't get it. <laughs> was he Japanese? No, he said R32. He had, so he had an R32 and then an S2000. Or exactly. S2000, R32, ground, and then another S2000. JDM kids don't know about the ground controls. He <laughs> said, though, he was he liked this way more than the S2000s. Nice. It's kind so, of a comparable price. In yeah. But, wow. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I don't think you'll find another one of these. Five IS who? Yeah, I yeah, mean, way cool. So much more rewarding. This is the cheapest Laguna Seca Blue manual coupe in the U.S. Yep. I don't think you could beat it. Nope. Find another one. Yeah. JB welded headlights. Find another one. Yep. This headlight was from uh, yeah. Czech Republic. Oh, cool. Yeah, but it says BMW on it, so does that mean it's OEM? <laughs> it's a Xenon. Ooh, it's got Xenon. Yep. Yeah. I'm stoked. And his AC, you said? Yeah, it works. Like, everything just works. What did you do to it? What did you what did you do to it? Maybe try second. Your gas door opens every time it's very cute. Okay, yeah, like power steering, power steering was getting finicky. You got a coolant light now. <laughs> but the engine didn't blow up, so did it look cool? It did. Did you try a second? <laughs> yeah, I did. I think it, I got it like rubber in my out. eye. Mm. Ooh, it's a good smell. Yeah, it's an awesome smell. I'm gonna do more. <laughs> <laughs> man living his dreams all right well hope you guys enjoyed that video um apparently i forgot to end it like i said that was a little over a month ago now a lot has happened since then mostly good stuff and uh yeah stay tuned for the next one i don't know how quickly i'm going to keep uploading but i'm going to keep uploading regularly now and um yeah and thanks again for 15k that's just not something i ever thought that happened but Summer's off to a good start, so let's just keep the ball rolling.